Uh, you fucking sleepy, you're as annoying as usual. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Marker. Software update complete. Don't tell me you had to install. Maybe yes, maybe not. No, you don't. And thing, thank you. Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. Uh, this is Jimmy along with Expectators, Purple, who's uh, munching on a egg sandwich, and E, who's listening to videos on YouTube. And today we're bringing you the latest installment of Star Fox and Star Fox Zero. Oh yeah. So, um. I don't know what to say. This is a brand new game. What to conserve energy? The Wii U console has been set to power down on my. What does that have to do with Star Fox? Dude, really? Come on. Saving energy in the Earth. <laughs> yeah, but, but why does is this popping out mid game? I mean, I'm. It's letting you know. Yeah, but usually it doesn't pop up. Yeah, usually it doesn't pop up like right in the beginning of the game, but anyway. It's being nice, so letting you know. I guess because it was Earth Day this weekend, you know, Friday or something. I don't know. Anyway. It's Friday. Yep. So we'll see. See, see uh, okay, let's watch the intro. Platinum Games present. Whoa. Oh, okay, so I had to listen to it on the. Okay, I did. That's cool. That's a cool implementation right there. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Let's go over some R wing controls before we get into combat. Use the gamepad motion controls to move your aiming reticle. Can I center it? How do I center it? I want to center it because I'm upside sideways. The motion controls can be adjusted via the gamepad while you're in the pause menu. Okay, let's pause. How do I recalibrate? Okay, good. Yeah. No, this is cool right here. Use the cockpit view on the gamepad when you need precision aiming. Oop. Nice. So right now the gamepad is showing me the same thing the screen is showing me. Press the left stick or the Y button if your reticle's calibration feels up. Which is gonna be every so often. So it's like all motion control games like Skyward Sword. Descending, I'm ascending, I'm descending, and up. It's like raise your hands, he's <laughs> It's like a little roller coaster, up and down. If you yes. Your flight controls, you can change them in the pause menu. No, this is fine. That's the way they're playing fields. Switching the TV screen to vehicle view. Check uh. your gamepad for the cockpit view. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Yikes, I'm gonna miss him. Shucks, did I miss him? Tilt the right stick down to use the brake. Use the brake! This feels very Star Foxy, but uh, I mean, uh, like N64, although this is an actual tutorial. Oh, shoot! Flick of the control sticks. Oh, dang it! Eh, uh, no. There we go, so up and down. That's the way, Fox. Nice. Press the ZR button to fire your main laser. Use the cockpit view on the gamepad when you need precision aiming. This is, feels very traditional N64 Star Fox. I like that. I'm not looking at the gamepad. Good going, Fox. Nice. Press the left stick or the Y button if your reticle's calibration feels off. No, yeah, I'm fine. Well, go ahead. Show me what you can do with that R-Wing. 
I want my bombs. I want to shoot my bombs, man. Whoa. Well, I can fly, that's for sure. I believe I can fly. Oh, I missed it. That is cool right there. Man. Nice. All range mode. With all range mode, you can explore wherever you want. Okay, so this is pretty cool, the turbo. Like in the N64 version, you will press the button and it will use the turbo completely. Now here, as long as you hold the button, I mean the, the, the stick, that's how we'll do the... So when you let go of the stick, then the turbo starts being used. So that's good. <laughs> Somersaulting, oh yeah. Okay, let's see if I can somersault this puppy. That's not tar L ZL, that's what I'm pressing, ZL. Just give me oh okay, I get it. <laughs> Yikes! Target. Stay. Ooh. Hey, stop it. That's it, just like that. Oh, yeah, sure. Falco! Come on, Falco. Where are you going, you rebel with a cost? I have you now. What if I shoot you, Falco? Hey, not too shabby, Fox. Hey, the original Falco! Hey, Peppy! Fox, look at me! You sound too girly, dude. Still unknown as heck. You're doing great, Fox. I think that's the original Fox. I mean, uh, Peppy. I mean, uh, Skippy, too. Nice. How's it going, Fox? It's going well. Come on, guys. I want to get down to Corneria. Yes. Corneria. Nice. Let's go. Let's get corny in Corneria. Oh yeah. Well, so far so good. This feels like Rim back at home in the N64 version. I like that. Just with far better graphics. Nice. So that was a tutorial. Nice. Before the actual. For the training, the training, okay, fine. Main game training, main game training. The training is what I just did. So let's just dive into the main game. First mission, oh yeah. What should we do? Training, hmm. Main game training, main game training, main game training, main game, main game, why not? Yeah. The name's Fox. <laughs> Fox McCloud. Name is Spawn. Chain Spawn. I'm the leader of Star Fox. An elite fighter squadron established by ex cornerian flying ace James McLeod, my father. My father. <gasps> Five years ago, my father was hired by General Pepper of the Cornerian Army to investigate strange activities on planet Venom. Ooh. He never returned. No. Why? Despite being a backwater little rock in space, Venom had become the base of operations for Andros, a crazed and banished scientist. Three pilots flew Psycho. out on that mission. My father, James, his best friend and wingman, Peppy Hare, and Pigma Dengar, an honorless slime ball who volunteered for the assignment. Yeah, I should have known better. When the guy volunteered, it was going to be not Turns no good. Turns out Pigma was working for Andros the whole time. No one saw it coming. Pigma betrayed Peppy and my father and led them straight into a trap. No. In the chaos that followed, my father sacrificed himself to create a diversion so Peppy could escape. 
barely making it home with his life, Pepe knew it fell upon him to report the courageous last moments of James McLeod. Dang. At the same time, Whoa. he delivered the news that Monkey see, Monkey did. a terrifyingly huge army and intended to conquer the entire Lilat system. And so began, and so began the Lilat Wars. Wars. Damn. This is like a reboot of, uh, you know, the N64 version. Story. Five years have passed. The battle between the Cornarian army and Andros's forces is spreading to every planet in the Lilat system. To carry on my father's legacy, I brought Star Fox out of retirement. Nice. I've got the latest technology, and I'm filling the team with pilots I know I can trust. <laughs> That's what your father said. Slippy Toad, a close friend and a gifted mechanic. Hmm, okay. Not bad. Fog Kaloom Barty. Barty. A hotshot flyboy who's got your back when the going gets tough. Yeah, sure. That's not the way I remember him. My father's old wingman. A seasoned pro and the glue that holds the team together. I thought glue was made out of horse. That brings us to today. <laughs> not a rabbit. Apparently, Andros's army appeared out of nowhere. Damn. No. Now's our chance to honor my father's legacy and restore the Star Fox name. Yeah. You hear that, Andros? We're coming for you. Yeah, you hear that? Andros? Hello? Andros? Is this thing on? Andros, do you hear me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the same voice as the original Star Fox. That is so awesome. Uh, it's been too long. Uh-oh, looks like trouble down there. Urgent message from General Pepper. Star Fox, do you read me? We're under attack from Andros's army. Oh we my gosh, the same voice too. Guess we'll have to save the sightseeing for another time. Check your gene diffuser system. Huh? Falco? Uh -huh. His color design is based off a pheasant. What? Which is a really tiny, fat bird. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and they don't, normally don't fly, they just kind of walk around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's do this. I did. Pressed it. Okay, now what? I recalibrated. Let me go. Huh? <gasps> Well, I'm glad you're fine. Now let's go, dude. Come on. Uh, hello? I'm trying. Press L. Okay, yeah, I know you're fine. So what do I do? Oh, okay. So I gotta check on all of them. Nice. Let's do this. Uh, I'm working on it. Because the game will let me continue with our recalibrating 10,000 times. Alright, boys. Let's run. <laughs> nice. Flipping awesome. Who entered the atmosphere? Whoa, stay low. You just pull a hand maneuver, man. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh, shit. Ooh, that was the bomb. Never mind. Nice. Whoa, somebody's shooting at me. Bastards, come on. I got you now. Oh, this is like... Those bad guys are like out of Star Wars, man. I mean, uh, Thor. I'm coming. Oh, shoot. Really sleepy. A what? A ring. The ring of power. My precious. Where are you, Skippy? Skippy! Oh shit. Come on, come on, let's do this. Baddies, baddies, baddies. Well, if you were to stay with us. Oh shit, what is Skippy? I can't. 
Get the skipper. Whoa. Oh, man, Mr. Bond. In the waterfall. Oh, shit. Hey, how about that, uh, that barrel? Whoa. I'll do a barrel roll, man. Yikes. What's this? Secret passage of some sort. Ooh. Can I do a barrel roll? Come on. What happened to good old barrel rolls? Fuck her. Looks like they sent a welcoming party. Ooh. Should we say hello? Yeah, let's say hello. Oh shit. Let's take the back way. Uh yeah, let's take a look. Looks like I missed a front gate opening. Phase one complete. Is everyone all right? Uh, yeah, sure. Whoa, the tower's in bad shape. Yes, it is. Starbucks, I'm glad you made it. I'm pulled up on the top floor. You must help. Switching to all range mode. Ooh, all range mode. Who's that? Oh yeah. You think you can take down ten of a box? Of course I can, man. It's, it's me, Fox. Ah, oh, he's hiding from me. Nice. Where are you, baddies? Oh shit. Oh yeah, tell this. Target like that. Nice. It's kind of hard a little bit to try to balance both, but it's possible. Yeah, who needs brakes when I can do a somersault? You know, I wish I learned. I wish I knew how to do the the what's it called. The barrel, man, I need a barrel roll. No Star Fox scam is a Star Fox scam without a barrel roll. Yeah, I'm gonna give something to him. Yeah, come on. Ooh, God, pick the. What the, the heck? Ooh, shucks, what the heck? Whoa, I just gotta turn around. Okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah. For sharper shooting, use your motion control. Now bad, Fox. Thank you. What else? What else? Oh, it's over there. I'll have you. I'll get you in a second. What's the bad guy? Ah. Don't worry. Got this. I got this. Nice. One more to go. Use your motion controls to target enemy weak point. Stop it. Nice. Motion Not controls bad, are for whips. For the rest of us next time. Oh no problem. Don't win. Don't whine. There's more coming from the shoreline. Watch out. Yes, <laughs> oh thank you. Motion controls do help, certainly. Haha. -ha. I know, I know. Don't be bossy. It's not bad, I like this. A bit of a learning curve to get used to both. Ooh, got him. Stir around. 
You fucking sleepy, you're as annoying as usual. That guy's gonna arrive there. Haha. -ha. Whew, that was close. Oh, yeah. Yep, give me a hey, hey, can I hear a oh yeah, somersault celebration. Oh crap. Oh snap. Alien ship approaching. Let's take it down. Okay. Target mode, targeting computer. Targeting their antenna array. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever, dude. What do you think I'm trying to use? Guys, you're as annoying as Peppy. Of course, I'm trying to make you bad. You can't go inside of it. Oh, yes, you can't go inside of it. How do I go inside of it? No. I mean. What's it calling? Oh yeah. Whoa! I just got fire upon with a freaking. Let's go inside. Going inside. Oh yeah! Turn into a chicken walker. Okay, what am I doing here? Intro alert! Intro alert! Intro alert! Ah, controls for the chicken walker. Ah, that's how you do the barrel roll. With the flick of the right stick. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. You are so dead. Oh yeah, you're dead. Your ass is grass and I'm the lawnmower, baby. Ouch, ouch. Well, this grass is freaking fighting big time. What the frick? That's a lot of them. Jeez. Yes, got him. Need to get out of here. Boom. What about me? That thing exploded when I was inside. Am I okay? Is that me? Yes, I survived a nuclear blast. I'm a cockroach. Yeah. Hey, cockroaches are supposed to survive with nuclear blast. Oh, there. Well, not the blast, but the fallout. We're heading out. All aircraft report. Let's report in. All red leaders standing by. You okay over there, Fox? Yes, I am. I'm Fox yeah, McCloud. That was a close one. Oh yeah. You're becoming more like your father. Why? Thank you. Wait, he's dead. You saying I'm gonna be dead? I'll be come. Oh, that was not good. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. Slippy had six hits. All right. Peppy had ten. Oh, Falco the Ace Fighter is in second place. <laughs> Mission ranks. Oh, I should have done 300 hits. So I should have stole more and get 300 hits to get a gold mission ranking. <laughs> Hyperspace. Wow. Ooh. We're back in space. Oh, they they brought back the traditional spaceman. Nice. Nice. And from here we can choose our missions depending on what we do. Sector Alpha, ooh, Corneria, nice. All right, well, this brings to an end our first Let's Play video on this. Um, first impressions is slash review. It is really awesome. I mean, appeals to the nostalgia of the N64 version, you know, it feels right at home. The yeah. motion controls are really good. I mean, it has a bit of a learning curve because you have to be looking. It's, come, it's almost like a DS. 
you have, uh, if you can see yourself in a way that you have to look down too much, too much, you know, you have the, the main TV to see, you know, from outside the ship and then the cockpit view inside the ship for more accurate, like they were saying, accurate controls. So it has a bit of a learning curve, but I think it's pretty cool though, actually. I really like it. And uh, obviously graphics are amazing, the sound is amazing, the voice acting is as quirky as it was in the original one with yeah. uh, what it seems some of the original actors, if not all. Yeah. And I really like it, yes. i really, really, really happy for this one. And the map looks the same and, too. Yeah, and the map looks the same. Like I said, they brought back some of the old elements. And um, yeah. it's, But this is basically like a reboot of the N64 version, you know? It's mm -hmm. not really a remake, more like a reboot mm -hmm. from, what I, from what I heard. So it, it's pretty good. Yeah. So far, my first impressions are good. Uh, first mission and tutorial were nice. And yeah, this is definitely a must buy. So, um, yeah, it's very nice too. Yeah, it's really fun. I can't wait to, to keep, keep going in the missions. So, um, well, uh, let us know in the comments below what you think, what you think of this uh, first uh, rundown of the, of the game. Um, um, if you guys played it, uh, you know, what you guys think, how the motion control is too much. I mean, you don't have to use the motion control because yeah. you can, you can you still can use turn the off. turn them off or, or just use the, the, the TV, you know? Yeah. So that's a nice option though. It, you're not forced to use motion controls. Yeah. Is 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 an option. Yeah, actually there's a button on the on the touch screen that says to turn off motion controls. Um, or at least you not know, have them on all the time so you can select you know what you wanna do. Yeah. So that's a really nice um, addition right there. You're not forced to use them. And the chicken walker, the first experience to it. I did crash a little bit and <laughs> but uh, it, it was it was actually fun using the chicken walker. Yeah, um, I was really looking forward to the chicken walker. Yeah, yeah. At first, I was kind of like, okay, this feels kind of like a Star Wars ripoff. But then again, Star Fox is a homage to different um, movies. You know, uh, yeah. like if you were play Star Fox sixty four, they had so many references to all like Independence Day, obviously Star Wars. I mean, just like just a lot of a lot of um, science fiction pop culture references. Yeah. So and that's what Star Fox is really about. You know, in the sense of uh, entertainment purposes. You know. Oh, one more thing. I will give this uh, probably, you know, I will give this four bumps out of five. Four bumps. Yes. So uh, the big bumps, you know, like the um, Star Fox bombs, you know, the staple bomb, you know, oh, you yeah. shoot. You know? Yeah. So I will give four bumps out of five, definitely. All right. Well, again, thanks everybody for watching, and until next time, uh, we are signing off.